Is it time to buy real estate? Now, that's a question I get really, really often. And let me first show you the investing real estate environment, and then we will get to an easier answer for you if you're wondering whether it is now a good time or not to buy real estate. So if we look at home prices in the US in this case, quarter one, 2007, current home prices are already much higher than they were in the bubble of 2007, 2008. And they have also significantly grown six since 2012. Similarly, in the Netherlands, 2013, 14 was the bottom. I managed to buy at the bottom in 2014. And since then, really prices have exploded. On average, 3.5, 4%, to 3% per quarter, which amounts to 50, 60% higher if you're in Amsterdam than also 100% higher. Globally, also Austria, 86% higher than the real estate bubble in 2008. Iceland, Sweden, Serbia, Norway, Germany, 50%. Belgium, Estonia, Netherlands are now just 10% higher than those were 10 years ago. And then we have still some negative. Denmark, there was big bubble in real estate. Slovenia is still negative. Italy is still below the average. We are always talking about averages and Greece is still below and it was even lower. Now, something very important when thinking about buying real estate is the interest rate. The 30-year fixed mortgage, take a fixed mortgage because with inflation, monetary policy, you never know what might happen, was really cheap when I made a video about buying real estate last year and it was even cheaper in 2016 and in 2012, 2013. So in 2012, 13 was the best time, low interest rates and low prices. So that combination is something you have to think about. It will happen every 10 years. So think about taking advantage of that. Interest rates, mortgage interest rates, average interest rates in Europe are extremely low. Denmark 0.9%, France, Portugal 1.5, bubble in Lisbon going on because you can borrow cheaply. Italy 1.88, this is ridiculous. This is coming from the ECB printing money. Now, my answer to the question, is it time to buy real estate? Hmm. It was time to buy in 2013, 13, 14, 15. I was telling every colleague I had, buy real estate, don't rent, they didn't listen. So then it was clearly big buy signal, buy, 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 take a cheap mortgage. Now, the situation is already a little bit different because real estate prices, thanks to the cheap mortgages, have really exploded and the mortgages, at least in the US, are not that cheap. In Europe, they are even cheaper. So that's something you have to weigh and then see what best for you. However, there is another factor that's very important. This is rent, rents and rent prices. You have seen the real estate home prices chart. It went up, it went down, it went up again. However, rents went only up, up, up and up. Just a slow stabilization in 2009, 10, but then again, up, up and up. So you have to see, okay, if I'm paying rent, then it is going to go only up. However, home prices might go down, might go up. But if what you're paying for rent allows you to buy a nice home, as it was my case, then I would first, I would go for the purchase of the home with the mortgage fixed interest rate 30 years. Why? Because whatever happens, your mortgage will always be the same. And if you can find something that suits you, that the mortgage is lower than the rent, Rent prices will just go up, the mortgage will stay fixed forever. And that's the difference in buying. And that's something you have to calculate for yourself. How much does it pay? And then there is always real estate, mortgage, inflation protection, especially with a fixed mortgage, with a fixed interest rate for 30 years, you get inflation protection. You get a lot of benefits that you might lose out on the very long term. Yes, real estate prices can crash, that can happen always, but what if they don't? What if they continue to go up for the next 10, 20 years amidst monetary easing, inflation, money printing, and you don't buy now? And rents even go up. So that's always a risk when investing. 2013 was a big buy. Now I would say only a smart buy matters. Try to find the best real estate you can find, 
don't buy in the crazy exorbitant markets that don't have positive trends coming in but try to find something that suits you and that's complicated i would i have when i was buying in 2014 i invested six months to buy the property yes i six months every day looking at real estate online visiting five properties per week with my wife for a few months so we really knew everything about the market and we could have we could find the best buy there and we did find it so we made money when we bought not later when stocks yes we of course made later but not it was not the point to make money when in real estate go up it was the point was to make money when you buy really put in the effort if you decided to buying as a long-term strategy okay i have stocks i have businesses i have real estate i don't have real estate now but i can take a mortgage because everything is so good try to balance it so that it if in case shit hits the fan it's not such a big weight and you can buy another real estate if you can do that buy real estate now don't put everything you have now in a crazy property somewhere in a crazy luxury uh, area N that not but small diversification okay this is my pension this is my business these are my stocks these are my real estate then i think if you don't have it take advantage of the low mortgages fixed for 30 years if you can do that then i would really calculate and think about buying Thank you for watching. Looking forward to the comments. This is a very interesting to topic. Share your situation. You will never know. We are here to learn together. See you in the next video.